I'm also gonna have to do the LSA itself. And with that is it it was a very pretty messy job, so obviously I'm gonna have to get these rotors out. So I don't have the you know special puller for this, so I saw a couple people that will make it with a little plate. Got the bolts listed is put the bolts in each hole, uh, run them through the plate, and then have a nut on the other side tightening, and it'll slowly pull it off because it's just pressed on. All right, so I'm in the process of removing the front uh, hub that's pressed on the uh, rotor package so I can get the rotors off. See, this is just my little plate I made. I actually changed from, <laughs> I started with this, you know, but this is, I mean, it's steel. It's, it's stainless steel. I thought it was going to be strong enough, but as you see, I had to upgrade. <laughs> this is probably <laughs> third of an inch, quarter of an inch thick steel. Same thing, though. Drill three holes. I got, uh, there's the M6 bolts. They have to be at least, I think, 70 millimeters long threaded of course like i said i just threaded those three inside the uh three empty uh holes that's in the hub they have threads and they go in there just use some washers and some nuts um from there just simply uh that's what i was looking for i simply just used a wrench Slowly back them out or tighten down, and of course it'll gradually it'll gradually pull the hub right off. The more you do, I should be about done now. Uh, I put a little little hole in the middle too, so I can kind of look down in there and see how far I got. I did put like some penetrating oil on there just to kind of help out. I don't know if it really you know how much it really helped out, but. I'm sorry too, I'm trying to hold the phone and hold this at the same time. And I say again, these are M6, uh, M6 bolts, M6 by one by, uh, bam, actually this is what I got. I got these from um, Home Depot. This is exactly all I needed. And of course, I had the matching washers to go with them, and the uh, matching nuts to go with them. Of course, I mean, I could use bigger washers, but I drilled the holes just, you know, right to fit in there. And as you see, uh, when one I get tighter on one side, the other side will kind of get loose. So that's that's one way I know that it's coming up. Because now that I've tightened it, this one's kind of loosened up. So I just move here. Pretty much, I just crank that one down till it's uh till it's loosened or till it's tightened, and then uh, usually it'll probably be this one will come up. It might actually be up or out all the way. Let's see. I don't want to take it off just to have it not up though, so I'm gonna make sure. bam spindles off now I just got a straight straight hub now I can beat that out to get the rotor package out uh, like I say as far as this goes I just unscrew the bolts see I didn't thread them like too too far in there that one I can't get out Get that one out. Let's see. Hang on. All right. Let's see here. 
you a little bit more on that one. Hang on one more time. I say bam just 3M6 by 75 millimeter bolts uh, 10 millimeter head nuts I ended up putting two nuts on it because uh, the first time it actually stripped the threads right out of one nut I mean it came up some but then it ended up stripping them so I just put two on for added protection and uh, it's my plate it's just a piece of metal, three holes were drilled in it. Set it over there. I could have cleaned it up more to make it fit a little better, but as you see that wasn't necessary. That was on there. Put it right in between those those holes. One, two, three. Screw it up. Pops it right out. Didn't take too long once it actually started, you know, moving. So that was that. Next time I'll be taking the rotor pack out. Damn. Washers. I say bam, just 3M6 by 75 millimeter bolts, uh, 10 millimeter head nuts. I ended up putting two nuts on it because uh, the first time it actually stripped the threads right out of one nut. I mean, it came up some, but then it ended up stripping them. So I just put two on for added protection. And uh, it's my plate. It's just a piece of metal, three holes were drilled in it. Set it over there. I could have cleaned it up more to make it fit a little better, but as you see that wasn't necessary. That was on there. Put it right in between those those holes. One, two, three. Screw it up. Pops it right out. Didn't take too long once it actually started, you know, moving. So that was that. Next time I'll be taking the rotor pack out All right so now to take the rotor packs out uh, let's see here on your rear side you have a uh, six bolts i already took them out um they're 10 millimeters as well one two three four five six that's your oil drain supercharger oil i'm not gonna mess with that right now but i took those out already and you see I got some bubble wrap that I'm just going to sit right underneath it. I'm going to place it up like so. I mean, it's not going to go far enough to really hurt it anyway, but I'm going to sit that right underneath it. So when I hit that, when I hit the spindle here and it drops down, it just doesn't drop super hard. Um, let's see if I can set this up somewhere. Decently, decently good. And all I'm doing is just hitting that uh, center shaft. Simple as using a socket or an extension. I don't have a hammer, so I'm improvising. I'm using a, <laughs> a jack. A jack stand pad. Same thing that'll work. Let's see. If I look down here, I can see the. I can see it starting to split and come out. So I know it's working. So I'm just trying to make sure I hit this evenly and square. But it just dropped. As you see, damn, the pack dropped down. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna lay it back down. Move my little bubble tape out of the way. I'm sorry, the camera guy. Uh, I had another camera I plan to do all this on, but it. Died on me. Let me see. 
You know, the rotors come out as one assembly. Bam. There you have it. These actually have very, very minimal wear on them. Pretty good. Of course, I want to check that bearing up there. That's one another reason I wanted to take them out. Yep. That's how you can move the roller packs from here. Right, that's what I got so far. Stay so doing the same method. Had that cast finish, kind of like that. Kind of rough. I'll say I'm just going through sanding it down. I already did the carbide tips, pretty much. Kind of cut it. Got my hump. Hump's pretty low. Let me smooth it out. I know a lot of people just take it off completely because there's no real structural stress here or anything, so you really don't necessarily need it, but. I wanted to leave it in there for just the extra precaution and let's say just personal preference for me personally, but uh that personal preference for me personally. But uh let's see, that's pretty much what I got right now. I'm about to work on just sanding it down, smoothing it down, and um, pretty much it'll be it'll be pretty decent and good to go after that. Alright, I started on actual supercharger. I'm just kind of comparing my points. I kind of made some marks. I tried to you know, magic more uh, permanent marker to kind of see where I needed to go. As you see, I'm pretty much on point, especially the bottom part. Um, once I go through and sand that down, that ought to be about perfect. I just got to get a little more right here in this crevice, and that's pretty much the main one I see. Um, pretty much finished up here. Some wet sand a little more, just smooth it out some, but that's pretty much, you know, as good as I'm gonna get it. Uh, like I said, I wasn't gonna mess with uh, running track too much. All I'm gonna do with this is, uh, it's kind of how these humps are squared a little bit. I'm just gonna kind of maybe try to smooth that down just a tad, and uh, just take the flash off. Uh, I'm not even gonna go perfect and try to hit every single spot and I'm gonna do a general run over with uh, sandpaper, a little port sandpaper and a die grinder just to get the rough flash. I'll try to smooth it out a little bit like I said, it's kinda, the air's gonna hit hit these spots anyway. It's like, I'm, it's nothing you can do about this flat spot, the bolts there. Um, and you got your port there so you can't really, you can't do too much about it. All I'm gonna do is just, like I say, these are kind of squared. I'm just gonna go try to smooth that down a little bit and take the flash off, and at least try to get the flash off maybe this side. And uh, like I say here, this side and then the back side. Pretty much all I can do is I already started over here. Like I was saying, I just pretty much tried to smooth it down, make it one little, like I said, still gonna, I could get that I've seen pictures of people, you know, they're a lot more actual cylinder-like, but I'm not even gonna go about it and do all that. You see, I'm just gonna get it as smooth as I can here without putting too much effort. And like I said, I just went and ran it over the wall. You know, I'll probably, it's definitely smoother than, the, than this uh, casting flash is. Yeah, so once I clean it, you know, it'll be pretty good. I've been doing, like I say, doing the same thing. I've been using the, uh, the little port and polish kit for this. Um, sandpaper. Started off with a heavier grit 60, and I'm not even gonna work my way down to 120 with this part, honestly. So, there you have it. All right, so a little update. I finished my port, port job. I didn't really, uh, video too much of it i didn't get a chance to but um this is the finished product uh like i told y'all before these i wasn't gonna really try to go in depth i just wanted to kind of at least 
kind of knock some of the rounded, I mean some of the square edges off. And that's pretty much just all I did. I didn't I didn't go too crazy with this part. I just try to smooth out the sides at least a little, get the flash off the sides. Um at least so it has a little more smoothness for the you know the air to travel over. Like I say as opposed to, you know, you know that sound as opposed to just it's more smooth. So I did that. I went ahead and put the rotors back in the same way I took them out. So I just slid them back in. Slid them back in. Uh, six bolts. Four, five, six. I may change this oil later. I don't really think it needs to. Like I said, the rotors are in pretty good condition. I don't think this uh, had a lot of miles on it. I did uh, re-grease the bearings for both pulleys. I mean, excuse me, for both bearings. I don't think they were terrible anyway, but I did that. Uh, let's see here. I know this uh, left side bearing is actually connected to the uh, uh, the pulley. Is the one that usually goes bad mostly because I guess the seal around the where the isolated goes may have a little air leak or something in there and it may pull air in because this bearing's not sealed and then it'll end up sucking it out uh the road will end up sucking it out so I tried to make sure i had a good good bead of a uh, silicone around i just used a regular uh, high tip silicone um nothing crazy uh put it back on like i said same six bolts here as well you know one you got two right here three four five and then your sixth one uh this is inside let me see if i can find my flashlight like i said i didn't end up doing too crazy you know afterwards um cleaned it up as best i could uh, See if I can stand it up a little, maybe get you see more light. Um, ended up pretty decent, like I said, I didn't really worry about hitting too much up here because obviously, you know, like I said, that's just for the bypass. But as far as everywhere else goes, you know, it, it turned out pretty, pretty decently smooth. Um, See, I could have probably did a little more, but like I say, I'm, you know, not going for no crazy, crazy power. And when I know what I did is going to be a whole lot better than what was there before. So I'm sure I freed up a few extra horsepower with that. So actually, that was pretty much it. Now I should be picking up the car here in the next two weeks. Um. I got my lid, I got my injectors. I still gotta get a fuel rail. Um, this is the stock pulley. I am gonna upgrade to probably a 2.5. I don't want, like I said, I don't wanna go too, too much. Um, I think I'm gonna do a 2.5. I think that gives you three, about three to five, depending uh more pounds of boost over the stock one. Um, that'll be it, like I say. I also connected that the vacuum line back to the to the supercharger um see and that's pretty much it for now so until later